The White House brought together a group of public and private health experts and industry leaders this week to find the best way to rein in big pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs. Now, they are the middlemen between drug makers, insurers, and pharmacies who use their market power to profit by driving up drug prices. This comes on the heel of several House and Senate committees advancing PBM reform laws that will bring greater transparency to PBMs. PBMs are supposed to help bring down drug costs, but all too often, the stories that we hear from patients and healthcare workers instead describe PBMs as dominant gatekeepers who have outsized power to decide how people do or don't receive the life-saving prescription drugs that they need, and too often to price gouge them for those drugs. As PBMs have consolidated and vertically integrated, we hear of a system where corporate red tape and bureaucracy all too often obstruct patients from getting their medications, sometimes with devastating consequences. PBMs choose which drugs go on their formulary of drugs covered by the insurer, receiving rebates and fees in exchange from the drug manufacturers, and the three largest PBMs handle nearly 80% of all prescriptions in the U.S. Rebates determine formularies. Rebates are also the reason big PBMs often restrict the medications they allow to be filled. They will often only reimburse for drugs that pay them significant rebates, excluding those that don't. Why leave out a Humira biosimilar like Usimri that is available in Cost Plus Drugs for a true price of $594 when you can charge an employer more than $8,000 per month for Humira? The reality is that form formulary should not exist. Doctors should decide what patients need access to, not the PBMs. And at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're giving Americans some hope that they really will avoid having to pay those middlemen all those dollars that really should go into their health care. While well, listening sessions on PBM reform is a step in the right direction, hopefully the White House will do more than just listen and Congress will act. This is Bio.News.